So here we go. Um, I, I didn't bring the right forms. Can you bring the kitchen out from there? Yeah. The Russian time? Yeah, he wants to. He has a yard sale. It's good for you. So the sale of them all. So the mall, they're already. Just. All right, so let's 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 learn and uh, wish you all this. We want uh, Shir to be leaving Mishmas with the outside, and this year uh, is also. To uh, inform the father of my new grandson, Sir Chaim Muhammad Hanarocha, is the Yom Shlish and Amila. Tuesday was uh, was the uh, address. Mm. Was, I told everybody on Mazalta. last night, last night, a tremendous. And then the story behind this, I'll repeat it because I mean, you guys already heard it, you know, get over and, and my wife, but you'll have to suffer for it, through it one more time. Um, my son, Rumi, he had uh, an accident eight years ago. He was, uh, he was hit by a bus. And Bo Hashem, no, he, oh, you know, is that heels. No, he was actually waiting by the station, and the bus just came in, you know, like, boom, boom. And in the corner, I said, Hashem, ah, Kitsu, Bo Hashem, is a, and, um, He had a he had a, a a baby girl around that time, right before, and they had no children since then. So his younger daughter is eight. Now she's eight. Mm -hmm. And Moshe, you wanted this year to be the Yeah, yeah. My, mother, my mother's York side is tonight. Uh, her is name is Kaya Bas Shmuel Aaron. Uh, yeah. And my yes. father's yard site is not far off, it's Ches Eeyore, and his name is Tzvi Her Shleib. Tzvi Her Shleib. Ben Moshe. Ben Moshe. Okay. We will do the Shamas with that Hashem. Okay. So, um, my son and, and, and his wife, you know, wanted to have, you know, more children. And then uh, they have, I mean, they have other, other children, but uh, mm -hmm. the kids are, my son has some kind of a, a moiset that helps people get married and the whole, so he spends a lot of time traveling in America, you know, collecting for that. So, um, he was in Monsi, so he stopped by the scene of the Rebbe of Ribnitz. Ribnitz a Rebbe. He's a very, very holy Jew. And uh, he dabbled over there. And then, you know, his partner, you know, went to Daven also. He went waiting for him by the car. He gets a phone call that his daughter 
calling from Eretz Yisrael, that his son was riding a bike and he had an accident, whatever it is, and a tzola came, whatever it is, he broke some bones and they took him to Sharet Tzedek. So immediately he went back, you know, to the Tzion to ask, you know, for his son. And his daughter called his wife. She was in a meeting. Obviously, take a taxi, come to the hospital. So they, he finishes davening. They, they went to the car, and and uh, uh, his name is Zisha Schmelzer. He's the brother of Lipa Schmelzer. You know the singer, Lipa Schmelzer. Yeah. So his brother is the gabai of of the tzion over there. He knocks on the window of the car, and he gives them a disc. He tells stories about the Mephsim of the Ribnitzer. He was a big mal Mephis. And um, so they gave him some money, and he, said, tells, he turns to my son, and he tells him his father, I have two things to tell you. First of all, this year, without the same, you're going to have a, a baby boy. This year. And secondly, I want to tell you a vort from the Ribnitzu. It says, the Gemara says, Verapo Yerape, Mikanshe Nitno Rishus Laroifa Verape. This is how the doctors got the permission to heal, you know, to be doctors. Verapo Yerape, you know, so. And then it says, Ani Hashem Ofecha. So he says, what's the difference where it says rapo yirape and ayah shem He says, in rapo yirape, the, the pay has an exclamation inside, the dog is. Rapo yirape. And ayah shem has no dog in the pay, right? It's rafecha with a fe, not with a pay. So he says, it comes to say that when a doctor heals, there's always something left behind. This epis is not perfect. There's also epis something left behind. When a Kodesh Baruch Hu heals somebody, there's nothing left behind. There's no simon left behind. And it was a, an amazing thing with Ashgocha, you know, he came to Davin for, for his son. Yeah. And now he hear, you know, he heard from Israel that his son went to the husband. And this guy's telling him both things that seem to be negative. And so he wanted to call his wife to let her know about this. And before he could call her, she called him. Yeah. She was very upset. Why was she upset? They, they called her from the meeting and she came to the hospital and they did all the tzilum and all this kind of, there's nothing wrong with him. <laughs> she says, why did they call me? Why did <laughs> and the bris was Tuesday, was exactly a year from where that took place. When the guy told him, this year you're gonna have a son. Would so, you that, the Gabba? The Gabba, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know what he has, he doesn't have. But whatever it is, he told him, you know, and it's a, so that's, that's a story, that's a story, you know, regarding the, uh, the, 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 this particular verse, in Yad Hashem, Yisrael Chaim ben Chaim Hamirocha, and first line, Moshe, his parents should rear him to Tara Chupamas and Tevin, him with all his siblings. All right. So we said that Rabbeinu says he began with the, the story of, of Sefer Eschaim. Torah Torah Memphis. So Rabbeinu starts and says that uh, we basically almost like like it, it very close, almost close to the end of this story. He says after we said that, you know, Kodesh Baruch was Ein Sof, and he had to hold himself back and create like a vacant space, a void as it were, so the creation would have a place to exist. Inside that void, this is where the Bria is. And Rabbeinu says that the same principle governs the way a person is because the heart of a person is like that 
void that Khalapani, in which a person is supposed to build his meadows. Same way as Kazbar who made this void to make to create all the elements. Same thing, a person needs to create his meters, needs to create a void in his heart and build the meters. And the way that this is done is that the person needs to hold back. The person needs to hold back his islahavus, his excitement, his fervor, because a person can be so, you know, totally over, you know, the, the board of the Zerimu or becomes too much and a person can't serve as well with that. So a person needs to hold himself back. And that time is supposed to be this, but that, and this, is the, this is the place to build the meetings. So Nelson says in, in, in the Kutia Lochis, uh, um, it's a very long aloha. Um, and it also explains all the different you know, reveals. I didn't finish it, but I'm still um, going through it. So it also says that that principle of, you know, in the heart is Yetzir Tov, Yetzir Ra. Yetzir Ra is bad thoughts. Yetzir Tov is good thoughts. And when a person thinks bad thoughts, it, it, it stuffs the void and the meters cannot grow. And we gave a, a, a muscle for that, where um, in relationships, if somebody just fills up the entire, you know, space as it were, it doesn't let other people say what they feel and communicate and doesn't give them a place to exist. He, he stifles them. It is called that he plug, he stops up the chalapani. A relationship needs to have a void, you know, a place where you begin and you end. And your partner or your friend or your wife or your husband, whatever, also, you know, they need to express themselves. They need to express themselves. And they also need to have a boundary not to go over. You know, people tend to try and want to control other people with anger. It's a very common thing. But anger, you know, they become angry. Who becomes angry? Anybody, anybody. The, the, the yeah. rich becomes angry. And with that, he forces other people to do what he or she wants. Because other people, you know, they're saying, well, I'm gonna get entangled with them, I'm gonna make a loch and come. Mm -hmm. Okay, let him have, or let her have whatever it is that they want, whatever it is. So people get, get to, you know, so beside that, so you can get your way, but that doesn't make a relationship. It doesn't allow a relationship to flourish. You know, so, so the way that any relationship can flourish, Meters can grow, elements can be created, relationships can be created, personalities can be forged, is by giving people space, you know, a void to grow into. A void to grow into. Yeah. Certainly, you don't fill up the whole thing. It's only about. It's not all about me. It's not. <laughs> so this all about me is the really or you know, the, the, when a person has bad thoughts. That stuffs up the chal upon his own in his own heart, so he cannot he cannot cultivate his meters because he has bad thoughts. Good thoughts, good thoughts build the meters because good thoughts lead to good deeds, right? Good thoughts they lead to good ma'asim tayvim. They they. they they lead to mitzvahs, they lead, they lead to good deeds. Now, when you, when you um, 
do good deeds, with this you reveal to everybody that you accept upon yourself all Malchus Shemaim. Kodesh Baruch is your Malach. Otherwise, why do you go to Shul in the morning and put on your tongue and down? Because Kodesh Baruch is your Malach. Uh, and why do you give tzedakah to somebody? Because the Kodesh Baruch is your Malach. It's all the gift stock. Why do we refrain from speaking Hashem? Because the Kodesh Baruch who said, it's a terrible of error. The Zerah said it equals all the three Averis that say Yarev Yabal Yav or Loshanara is as worse as all three of them combined, which is, which is, a, is a hard thing to understand because the, the other Averis says Yarev Yabal Yav, you're supposed to give yourself, sacrifice yourself and not do them. Uh, but the Zerah says so. And the Zerah says that uh, I actually saw it myself. And um, so we stay, why do we say? I mean, people, this world is filled with Lashanar, filled. Any newspaper, any radio, any television, any, anything, anything, anything is full with people saying what is wrong with somebody else. Everybody is busy with everybody else's lies. In truth, they should be busy with their own lies. Correct your own lies, build your midas. But no, that's, uh, it comes from Yush. So, so Rav Nelson says that that kind of, that balance between Machshavis Tevis and keeping away from bad thoughts, you know, keeping the extra excitement at bay and fighting off bad thoughts and thinking only good thoughts. This is the mainstay. That's the ikar of a Buddhist Hashem. Buddhist Hashem. If I remember something that that was done for me bad. That's my Yitzhara. Oh, it was done for you bad. The question is, what do you do with it? It makes you upset. It makes you upset. So this you're supposed you supposed to. You could do it. Uh, no, no, what you can do is what you can do is you can take that because we're going to send you everything. Is we we we, we the Rebbe the, the says that Torah uh, um, uh, if I'm not mistaken. The Shabbat who sends a person Machshav and Dibar and Maisa every single day to remind him to come to him. Everything that, that I went through in my life, you know, the stuff that was pleasant and the stuff that was painful, I have to believe that it's all the Tevasu. Now, it's not easy to see. But the secret to evolving and being able to see how everything that you went through and anybody did to you was from the type is, I've always speaks about it in a great deal when he says, uh, say thank you to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. For everything that happened to you. You remember something that happened? Somebody, somebody did something that hurt you? Because who sent this person to you, whatever it is, uh, in yeah, order, in order for Kapar, in order you know, to save you something, something else. The Rambam, however, passed that at the time that the other person is doing something that hurts you, you know, the main thing is Ishma keep quiet. Right. But Rambam says that afterwards, when you calm down a little bit, you have a chiyuv, you have a chiyuv to go to that person and tell him in a nice way that you are hurt. If you don't do that, the Rambam says, because he doesn't have a chance of doing tshuva. He doesn't. He's not inside your head. He's not inside your heart. He doesn't know. What hurt you? What didn't hurt you? 
He said something, or she said, said something. So it is your duty, it's a mitzvah for you afterwards when, you know, without exploding, without makama, without, you know, all that, to come and say, um, you know, when you did this and this, you know, that hurt my feelings. People usually do the mistake that says, you hurt my feelings. You are bad. That's right. Wrong way to do it because nobody wants to feel bad, but you can tell somebody that I'm not saying that you're bad, but what you did or what you said. I felt hurt. I, I, felt, I felt hurt by something that you did. I'm not saying that you're bad. I, no, I'm not even saying that you meant to hurt me, but all I'm saying is when you did so and so or said so and so, that they hurt my feelings. I had a fear to tell you. I mean, I tell you that I'm upset. I'm afraid to tell you that I was hurt. Give the other person a chance to do tshuva. You know, ask me to do tshuva. So, uh, the fact is that that when somebody comes, something comes to your mind. Something comes to your mind. Such a, a memory. Okay. The question is, what do you do with it? The answer is, you, you come to Pesach with it. Well, you can tell somebody. He says, he said, he says, what do you do if somebody, if you have a memory of somebody hurting you, somebody hurts you, yeah. is that considered a bad thought? So I told him, so it depends what you do with it. If you say, first of all, first of all, thank you. I don't even know what for, but first of all, thank you because everything you do, the British one is very good. Very good. Besides that, besides that, if you say it again, again, again to Kaddish Baruch Hu, Simsaf Kaddish Baruch Hu is going to show you why the painful stuff that you went through was for your benefit. If a person, however, if a person whines all the time, Oh, they did this to me, they did that to me, they did this to me, they did that to me, they did that. that. He says, what about the Kodesh Baruch Hu? It's not in the picture. I don't know, but it is this, this, and then she did, and he did, and they did, and that. It's all the time whining and whining and whining. That person will never see the reason why Kodesh Baruch Hu is doing it. Because he was doing it for a reason, as far as I'm good. But a person will never see it because he's too busy whining instead of thanking Kodesh Baruch Hu. Now, it's not an easy thing to do. You know, when you're hurt, you're hurt. You know, it's not a, but nevertheless, you should ask God to help you to thank him, to be done the Kodesh Baruch the comes close. <laughs> you know, that's a, the Rabbeinu says that, that when a person is, is, uh, um, uh, when a person is, 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 is upset, when a person is depressed, when a person is depressed, when a person is depressed it's as if he has a grudge against the Kodesh Baruch He's not saying anything. Mm -mm. He's not saying, ah, it's Khalil, me, Kodesh Baruch what are you talking about? But why, why am I depressed? Why am I broken? Because in my heart, I don't believe the Kodesh Baruch is actually doing the good stuff. He has my, my benefit in mind. I'm not saying anything, but Abena uh, says when a person, you know, is depressed like this, he goes around moping around, whatever it is, if he whines, that that is lack of a moon and control. It's easier said than done. It's easier said than done. But nevertheless, it's an avoid that the person needs to do. And you should know, you should know in this particular Allah. Huh? Yochus Mincha, and Nosa says, Nosa says that a person needs to do this to catch himself. So when a person goes around with atzvus, with sadness, or, or complaining all the time, whining, 
a person now can go and say, you know, oh, what can I do? I may, maybe I'm able to say thank you to Kaddish Baruch Hu for a few seconds. And then I go back to, to complaining, to whining, to being upset. Why is this happening to me? Why, you know, um, you know there's not Kaddish Baruch in the world. That person is hurting me. That person is hurting me. Whatever it is that, that is going on. The answer the person needs to know that if at first I'm whining 100 times a day and then I'm zoichum one time to catch out of the 100, thank you for what's going, whatever is going on on me. One out of a hundred, a hundred times I'm whining and I'm crying and I'm whatever it is. I'm full, filled with complaints to kingdom come. One time out of the hundred, I'm saying, thank you for that. And even when you say thank you, yeah, you're saying it with half a heart. You know, yeah, no, I believe I have to do it, whatever it is. In other words, you have like a, maybe one part of a thousand. Nelson says that this is why Kodesh Baruch Hu created the world. To have Rahmanas on a person that can only bring one part of a million of of, of stopping Machshav We think, ah, no, 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 no. You have to stop everything. You have to stop one day, from one day to the next, from now one day, you know, I'm whining, the next day I'm full with songs and thanks to God, I love that. But it's not realistic, it doesn't happen that way. Because Baruch Hu wants me to do what I can, so Nusha says, you know, you gotta catch yourself whenever you can. It doesn't matter if you thought already a thousand bad thoughts. And the thousand and one good thought, the Iker Achmonus of Kodesh Baruch is for such a person. Because for the Kodesh Baruch Hu Rahmanas and Tzadikim, it doesn't take much. That's a big it For Kodesh Baruch Hu Tzadikim, Rahmanas and Tzadikim, doesn't take much. Yeah. They deserve it. You know, Don Meissen. I just came from Yishalayim, I saw Rabbi Akimir Shechtim. I took my son to him. So I was there to see him. Yeah. Because Baruch Hu Rahmanus and him, and you know, he deserves it because of his You know, and what he went through in his life is like unbelievable. You know, it's a. Uh, but I always ask him, like, when the guy him, he only gives bruchas now. He doesn't do like eitzes. Mm -hmm. He only gives like a bruchah now. He doesn't do eitzes. It, it, same thing happened with us also. You know, but. Uh, you got a bracha from him. You can give money and make a pidyon effort for you. My son got a bracha from him too. He was at a bris. My son was a bris. Yeah, so, so I went over he there. Was the, he was the Sunday. Right. So he went so, over to him and gave him a bracha. Right, him, right. Wanted. So I, we went there and I, I gave him a kvittle and I gave him money. I asked him to make a pidyon. He made a pidyon. He made a pidyon effort. Do not that you know. That's, that's a pidyon. Blessed with a full heart. But everything is about Hashem. Uh, so <laughs> to have a bracha is also good. <laughs> Just a bracha is also good. But if you if you say if you say, listen, this is the problem that I'm having, you know, and you say I don't know what to do, you know, they, you, you will say something. Yeah, and the divine they're pushing you. Well, come on, out, out, out. I'm waiting. You know. But nevertheless, you know. But but for the kashbar hotel on me. Now that is big Rahmanas. For somebody who's not worthy, is just one thought out of a million, a good one good thought out of a million bad ones. For Kajwahu to Rahmanas on him, it means the Khan who reaches low, shabal low, shabal low. There's an explanation for that. Why is that? How come a person, you know, one out? Uh, I feel, you know, that my entire life is just one big whining and crying about everything. 
That's what I do. So everyone, you know, once in a blue moon, I say thank you, you know, like a meaning like halfway, you know, mean it, I don't mean it. <laughs> you know, it's just like a lip service kind of thing. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm thinking about it. The answer is as follows. When a person, let's say, has a person speaks Lashonara, and he spoke Lashonara a thousand times. A thousand times, lolling. Every time that the person does something bad, the, the Sitra Akhra gets dominion over him. Another bad one, another bad deed, another Russian Allah. So, as Rabbi Nusser, the famous, you know, over Vishon on Asalo Keheter, you know, it's like doing so many times, just look like I'm doing nothing wrong. It's like, a, it's not, in the beginning, you still know that, that you really shouldn't, but, you know, but, it, but at least it became like a Heter for you. And since if you, the person continues, becomes a star, a star, a star a person that you know there's not anything wrong with this before. Doesn't remember anything wrong with that. But so the more a person does something, having bad thoughts, having bad diburim, or whatever it is, the more kayach, the Yetzirah, the, the Sitra has over him. So if a person is a person that speaks a thousand times, Lashonara, means that he is totally, he's already mindless. He, he doesn't even know that there is Anything wrong with that thing? You know, in, in, in the encyclopedia, under the subject of Loshanora speaker, there's my picture there. There's my picture there. As a, an example, in other words, there's the epitome of, 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 of Yasar. The epitome of somebody who's totally under the dominion of Yasar. So, one time I'm stopping myself, after a thousand times I'm stopping myself from thinking a bad thought or for saying something, you know, saying a or looking where I'm not supposed to look or saying something, I'm not supposed to, whatever it is that, that I'm stopping myself, my own feelings about it, let's say it's a horror, that's a bad thought. This is, what? After a thousand times, okay, big tzaddik, once you didn't think that. Once you say thank the Baruch Hu for everything that happened to me, including the things I don't like, that is like from my childhood, from ever, 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 all the time. The tzaddik takes this, as we said before, you know, every single good deed that a person does, every good deed, and we could the table. We spoke about it the last time. The tzaddik takes it and put it in the safe. Remember? What's in the safe for you? So, the Midas Adin, the Yetzirah, Shetzirah comes, Shekadosh Baruch Hu says, that person is supposed to be punished, supposed to this, supposed to that. Because let's look at the water. So he did, so he did, he stopped himself after a thousand times, he stopped himself once, big spritz. So he stopped himself once, after a thousand times, look at a thousand times what he did. But the Tzadik time is exactly for kids. He says, after a thousand times, meaning he's totally under the control of the Yetzirah. He almost doesn't have even that free will not to do it. A thousand times he did. And still, the one thousand and one time, he stopped. say thank you. Which means I totally lost the ability to see that what a Kodesh Baruch Hu does is good for me. Yeah, I believe it. Okay, I'm paying lip service. Everything Kodesh Baruch Hu does is good. I'm saying, I'm, saying, I'm saying it. I'm saying all the right words. I'm talking the talk, but I ain't walking the walk. Because inside me, I'm really upset. Rabbeinu says that that Shosu Bashamain PM that they place, they really uh, aim 
their mouth at the Shemaim, the Kodesh Baruch The Shainam Tahalach Ba'aretz. Their tongue walks the land. This is Pasuk in Tehillim. What does it mean? Rabbeinu says that this is when people complain about other people, especially about Sadiqim. But really, who are they complaining about? Kodesh Baruch but they're embarrassed because they're going to say, Kodesh Baruch you know, Kodesh Baruch is being unfair here. Kodesh Baruch is not doing, this, this not, I'm sorry, this is not right. Kodesh Baruch shouldn't be doing this. But the person is embarrassed to say that. So you speak about people. You speak about tzaddikim, you know, tzaddikim, and whatever it is, and just fakers, and did this, and did that. That person did that. And it's, it's like, I, and I'm, I'm almost like a dog who is biting the stick that hits him. I don't read somebody else is holding the stick. I'm just a dog. I'm biting. I have. I see the stick is hitting, so I'm biting the stick. I don't connect. The thing to remember. The thing to remember is you should double for everything, all the time. You're going. You're going home, and. He has to go home about that my wife should be in a good mood. And if my wife is saying something to me that is very difficult for me, or even possible for me to stomach, I can go home and I'm help me be in a Kabbalah this and believe that this is my table. And thank you for doing this. I, whatever it is that you can, all the time, all the time. So that remember that because God is going to answer you every time. First of all, yes. But you, you may not see it right then and there, but Kodesh Baruch Hu answers you every time. Kodesh Baruch Hu answers you every time for everything. And the thing to remember is that Kodesh Baruch Hu is Avraham, right? What we call Avraham. Right? Avraham, Avraham, Right? That's what we're saying. What does it mean, Avraham? Avraham, a merciful father, means that when his son is asking him something, his first impetus, the answer is always yes, unless it needs to be no or not yet. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to educate him, right? I'm supposed to discipline him. So certain times it's no, certain times it's okay, not yet. So it's always a yes, but nevertheless, never, most times, and this is this is another insight into this situation, is that a huge percentage of the things that we don't like that happen to us is simply because we don't bring the Kaddish Baruch into the picture. That's the only reason why we're going through this time. Somehow we forgot and we left the Kaddish Baruch Hu out that person is against me, whatever it is. So the easiest way to bring Kaddish Baruch Hu in is to ask him, help me with this situation. I'm arguing with my wife, I don't know, whatever it is, also help me, that we should not show to argue with my wife. Or whatever it is, that just ask Kaddish Baruch Hu for everything. And even Lu Yitzhak Kaddish Baruch Hu says no, you have done what does feel as something mir miraculous. You know what you did. You turned that minute in your life into eloquence, into godliness. It's not about that happened to me, that happened to me, that happened. It's all a relationship between me and the Kodesh If I dabble for it, even if I don't, I don't get what I want, or it takes a long time until I get what I want, I daven for it. So that already makes it a godly matter. It's no longer a Gashmis to come out. It's a very important Indian, very important principle. Again, you can do that. That's the main thing. And after we said that, that, uh, that when a person, the Slavas of the heart of a person, is 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 uh, you know when a person does that, he's mekabel omachus and that elevates 
the malchus. What does it mean elevate the malchus? You start feeling Kaddish Baruch Hu around in your, in your life. It becomes a second nature for you to ask him for everything because you know you're asking, you get it. You see him. Each and every one of us can tell, I don't know how many miracles that happen because of his tefillahs. We forget it, you know, because we fall into whatever it is. Life is not easy. You know, but each and every one of us that, that, that Davids can tell, you know, I dove this and Kodesh Bochu did it for me. I dove in that and Bochu did it for me. And here Kodesh Bochu did a tremendous thing for me. But so up and so on, you know what? Uh, that's called Aliyah Samachus. That's called that, 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 that you see Kodesh Bochu. That's Aliyah Samachus. That causes the ilui of Beisai Eloi, that's his best midrash of Malo. And we, we, we explain it at great length that the, this union of, of Bina Eloi, Bina Eloi, is the ability, the ability to sustain the light of a Kodesh Baruch Hu, unshielded, as it were, without getting damaged. We're saying here, they have rebuilt or you're getting so excited about the Baruch Hashem, that you can't do anything. But Rav Nelson says, if you keep on doing, you know, holding up the light, not too much light, not too much or not too much excitement, and push away the bad thoughts and keep good thoughts, push away the good thoughts, push away bad thoughts, keep good thoughts, you're building, you're building yourself up to the point that your own Bina law is going to be, or base law is going to be built, which means You'll be able to just let it rip in 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 service and whatever it is without getting damaged. This is basically law. Lost love, this is the thing that's going to happen. Is that the Shem? Lost in love, the entire atmosphere will be in such a madrego, they'll be able to receive the light of Hashem without revolution. That no malach today can. Or ever will be able to do this. In order to get that, the Bina Eloah, that sanctuary, the Bina Eloah, that you can, you know, like the, like you're watching the sun, you know, when you want to see, you want to see an eclipse. When I was a kid, I went to the eclipse of the sun. So we used to take, you know, a, a, a glass and put a candle on the thing. You can, you know, all charred. Then you can put it on the sun. But if you look at the sun, you get blind. We put it against the sun. And it, it, it blocks a lot enough for you to see, yeah, I see the, you know, the eclipse, whatever. Uh, the Bina Eloi is the thing that, that will enable us, also globally, to receive our Kodesh Baruch Hu, and it's called as is, without Levush. It's not even possible to speak about this particular, there's no bigger uh, uh, no in the world than that. Shem should help us with that, Hashem. Uh, first of all, uh, everybody should have a good Shabbos. Um, Tomorrow is going to be hot, so put on your ACs. Shabbos is going to be hot. Make yeah. sure that uh, what? Shabbos is going to be hot. Yeah, you know, the, I don't know, whatever it is. It's not gonna, it's, uh, so it's, uh, you know, uh, so Zat uh, And Zat Hashem, we will meet Moshe Shabbos. Sikha Saran, Sikha Rabal Shem Tov, and Kol Tov to everyone, Bimat Sliach, Kol Tov. Let's just uh, stop this.